Hey friends, Maria from Kindred Root. We're going to talk a little bit about some timeline stuff today. I've had a whole lot of trippy experiences today and I wanted to share a little bit about it with you. So today uh, I was called out into my way back um, to sit with a new plant to me. Um, its uh, common name is rabbit tobacco or sweet everlasting and it is a native um, medicinal flower um, that grows wild in sandy areas um, in, in the U.S. and Native Americans used it a lot. I really didn't know anything about it. Um, but I sit with plants and I get their, um, their, their spirit message. And I wanted to see what uh, Sweet Everlasting had to say for me and for us. And I'm just going to read the message first and then we're gonna talk about it a little bit. Okay, so bear with me. So I'm gonna read this. Forgive yourself, all of yourselves. You walk the timelines between worlds, feeling all of it like a wave, a riptide that captures your breath and stops time. Hold the wholeness of the ocean, not only the droplet that you fear, that you regret, that you grieve, Nothing is ever lost, and all will be recovered, reclaimed, and reunified. Hold the ocean in your heart, the vastness coursing through you. Nothing is lost. You are not lost. Love is not lost. Everything you are is simply on the other side of your fear. Okay. That was pretty good. I um, I wasn't expecting that. I never know what to expect when I sit with a plant. But I ate a flower and I started to see uh, the timelines and how they intersect with our current timeline and with these bodies, right? I talk a lot about embodiment and being in the body and being grounded in the body. And, um, and I talk about that because the body is the vehicle. The body is the key. Okay, we can, um, we can get as spiritual and esoteric as we want. But the body is the key. The body holds the key. The body has the information, the wisdom, the message. The body holds what we're looking for. And those timelines, all of our myriad timelines, our hundreds and hundreds of thousands of timelines, they all converge and intersect with our body. People talk about the timelines being parallel, like they're boom, 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 and like almost linear, and they're not. The, the timelines are more like a very chaotic game of pickup sticks with you as the foci, the focal timeline standing in the middle. And some of those sticks will um, kind of just like lay on your arm or your leg or across your head. And then other timelines will, in, will bisect. They will pierce right through you. And they come from all directions, but they all converge here into this timeline, into this moment, into this present focus. And it's, it's a lot, okay? Um, so I wanna keep my thoughts as straight as I can, but I've been writing for like an hour and a half about this. Um, so how do we know, or you know, how do we work with this? Like, what does this even mean? I mean, it seems like, okay, well, you know, we have timelines and they're all around us, but how do we work with that energy and why do we want to? And our timelines hold wisdom, they hold experience, they hold um, the knowledge of our, the totality of our experience, right? Because we can't experience everything in one single focus. We came here to experience all of that and our timelines hold all the pieces and parts that um, that we are not currently focusing on. Okay, so 
what I was shown today was that where those timelines intersect with our current timeline is where we will have pain, is where we might have disease, um, where we might just have inflammation, um, where there might be any kind of, you know, disturbance. Um, any part of our body that we are acutely aware of is likely an intersection point. And, you know, if your body doesn't hurt, if it's everything is functioning just fine and dandy, we don't put a lot of attention on it, do we? It's just kind of like it does its thing and we don't pay any attention to it. Um, it's only when it starts to hurt that we start to think about that part and wonder, hmm, I wonder what's going on there. Okay, so that pain is communication. That pain is drawing our attention to an area to, so that we will look at it and feel into it and listen to it to see what it's trying to communicate with us. And that convergence point is the key. So, if, oh gosh, I was like, where did I want to go with this? All right, so... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just really, I'm out, I'm out there today. So we sit with that pain. We sit with that sensation. We don't have to do anything more than that. We sit with it. We listen to it. We open to it and we get the wisdom. We understand what that other aspect of us in the other timeline is holding and experiencing and wants to connect with us on because when those timelines converge it's an opportunity it's an opportunity for that timeline and this timeline to learn that particular lesson and heal and integrate so that time when we get that wisdom that timeline integrates and then we move on to the next so people talk about oh the timelines are collapsing and sometimes they do um, like, you know, sometimes there's cataclysmic events in our other timelines and those timelines will collapse. Um, and we will get that essence back in a rush, but more often than not, we're looking at intersections. We're looking at convergence. We're looking at points in time that are opportunities for us to call in our other parts and learn from them and listen to them and heal together. So I think that it's really important um, to have this in our awareness um, as everything is shifting and changing in life right now um, because we're going to be experiencing this more and more. And there are going to be some kind of new agey, psyop -y kind of things that are, you know, programs that are going to be going around saying, oh, the pain and the, everything that you're feeling, those are just ascension symptoms. And they're not, friends. It's, it's like, they're not. They're not. Ascension is a bypass. Ascension is trying to rise above and transcend the human experience, transcend the body. And what I'm talking about is coming more into the body and, 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 and becoming whole, right? Drawing those parts back and becoming whole. There's a difference. It's like embodiment. It's, it's like in Christian terms, spiritual awakening and this embodiment work that I'm talking about is like walking with Christ and ascension is like the rapture. Okay. We're not looking, at least I'm not looking to be taken out of this experience. I'm not looking for someone to save me and I don't know any God that would, right? We're here to save ourselves. And we do that by coming into these bodies and listening to them. Okay, I'm almost out of time. I might continue this on another video. There might be more points that I'm forgetting. Um, but let's talk about this. I want to talk about this. And, um, and I'm going to teach a lot about this in my course, How to Human 101, um, that starts in September. So let's, let's talk.